Well, we we are so happy to have you on with us today because, and gosh, what what a movie! This one made such an impact on me as a kid, and I'm sure it did, you know, for you originally. But now, getting able to being able to do this presentation of it, how special is that? It is amazing. Like I mm. would have never written it better. You know, as you have all these dreams as kids and as adults as well, and like you you imagine yourself doing this. I would have never. And imagine, or in a million years, thought like Miss Oprah Winfrey would have passed the baton to me in this way. Never would have mm. thought that I would be in this movie with these actors, you know, with the producers that are backing us up and the world's receiving this story the way that they are. Mm-hmm. And and then of course there's all this awards buzz now and you're at the top of all these lists like how how does that feel I mean that's crazy isn't it I'm learning how to receive all this love man mm-hmm. I'm learning how to because for a long time I've been working and grinding and you know being the one that's going up to the person that I admire yeah. and now I'm starting to be the person that's being admired <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, but I, I'm grateful for it, you know. I, I just, I'm, I'm really grateful, and and I will see where things go. I'm just taking it one day at a time. That's all you can do. Well, you know, and now people are looking up to you, and they're thinking, okay, I, I want to do this. I want to have my time. And and so, uh, what kind of advice do you give to those people that are looking at you, going, yeah. I, I want to do that? One is do the work, stay focused on the work in the craft because that's really going to get you where you need to go and be yourself. That's number two, um, because that's your gold card right there. Like you Mm -hmm. gotta, there's only one of me. There's only one of you. So do that because don't nobody need another Denzel or Viola. They need you and Mm -hmm. thoroughly be kind. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes people aren't the best actors, but they have such good rapport and kindness and good hearts. That, that'll get you far. So I, those are the three things I would say. Yeah. Now, this movie could have come out at, uh, at any year, and it'd be a great movie, but I feel like we kind of need this movie this year, right? You already know we need this movie this year. <laughs> yeah. We have been through everything, not only just us as actors, but there's so many other um, people in their line of work that are striking, what we're going through with all these different countries and the hurt and <clears> loss <throat> of lives that are happening. You know, we've been through pandemics and people have lost so many people still trying to get on their feet. Um, We're going into an election year. We need this movie now. (laughs) Fantasia, hi, how are you? Hi, Paul, I'm good. I love your hat. Thank you so much. It's good to see you again and uh, at our celebration. It's a beautiful time and uh, gosh, it's... um, and a beautiful movie, so we have to celebrate it. And uh, you, you must be so excited to 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 just uh, be, be be able to have something beautiful like this come out right now. Yeah, I'm excited, um, but I also feel like you know this movie is 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 really a ministry, um, mm-hmm. in in so many ways. Um, there's so much going on in the world, you know. If I don't even watch the news no more because I just can't. Yeah. Um, but I feel like it's going to bring a lot of healing, and it's dropping Christmas time. And so, mm-hmm. um, to be a part of this legacy, to be able to tap uh, into the color purple again, and not say we're, we we couldn't touch the first one, yeah. can't touch it. Mm-hmm. Already been done. They laid the grounds. We didn't even want to even try. So we went about this movie very different, very strategic, very like, wait, we got to make sure. We're bringing it because the first movie healed all of us who are in this movie, and we wanted mm-hmm. it to do the same for the younger generation. Yeah, and and you said something beautiful the other night about second chances and and you know being able to, you know, do this. I mean, I know it meant a lot for you to be able to do this, right? Yeah, it it did. It was hard for me to do it. You know, when they mm-hmm. asked me to do it, I said no. Yeah. Um, I played Celie twice in my younger days. Yeah. And um, when I played her, you know, I realized that she and I have so much in common. And that was that was that was scary for me uh, to carry my cross and her cross at the same time. That wasn't easy. So when I walked away, I I said in a lot of interviews, mm-hmm. on radio stations, 
never no more, no more. Yeah. And so when Scott Sanders called me, I was thinking, Scott, did you not hear what I said? <laughs> <laughs> um, but when Blitz called me, the director, who was such an amazing visionary, he mm -hmm. showed me that he was giving Seeley an imagination. And that's when I said I was in. Because people remember it from Broadway. She mm -hmm. had no imagination. And also, I believe in the first movie, she really didn't have a lot of imagination. You kind of had to go off of what you thought. And so you see her go through so much, so much, so much. And then in the end, she like all of a sudden wins. But I do think that uh, we all have a bit of a, an imagination and we all see ourselves in, in certain situations when we're going through certain situations. So I was like, I'm all in then. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Well, this is going to be so inspirational to people, as you have been for years. And so uh, what advice do you have for those that are looking up to you that's thinking, this is what I want to do? Ha. <laughs> Um, I would say to them, don't come into this thing looking at anybody else's uh, story and trying to measure up to anybody else's life. It's your ride. Take the ride. And guess what? That ride sometimes will get bumpy. You may run out of gas. You may have a flat tire. You know, or you'll see some sunny days, some rainy days. You'll go through some storms, and it feels rocky. But take the ride. Take it with some good people in the car with you. Also know that, yeah, we all are fearful at times. Like I told you, I didn't want to go back to this road, but look now. So I will say put fear in the trunk, still drive the car. Sometimes that little bit of fear is what helps you keep going. Put it in the trunk. Don't let it drive the car. You drive it, but keep, keep it in the trunk with you because it's going to take you somewhere. When people say you can't, you know that you can. So, yeah. Ah, I love it. Beautifully said. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hello, hello. It's so good to see you again. How are you? I am blessed and great and happy. Ooh. How are you? Uh, amazing. That was so great to see you at the celebration the other night. It was so much fun. And man, that, like what? And for for such a good thing too. This movie is is amazing. And, and you know, it, when when something like this comes up, it's just so special. And you have to do these things, right? Yes, you do. I mean, I was just saying in another interview that you know this world is looking scarier and scarier every day. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like the universe has a way of um, putting, aligning all the stars for things that will help lift humanity and give us hope. And I feel like that's what the color purple is in its timing and why we needed this reimagining and why we needed it now. Um, that's what you feel when you see this film. Like it was very spiritual, even in the way how um, uh, Blitz picked each, handpicked each and every one of his leading cast members. Um, mm -hmm. We all have a 360 story that brings us to this great uh, poem, like Corey Hawkins likes to call Alice Walker's piece of work. I like to call it our mm -hmm. Shakespeare. Um, Blitz calls it the color purple universe, uh, multiverse. Um, Danielle Brooks calls it our heirloom. It's okay. so special to American history in, in general. And it's and, and yes, there it's a story about black people, but yet the story transcends color, race, gender, mm -hmm. you name it. Anybody yeah. can identify with this. Yeah, and what a blessing to be able to to be a part of something like this. I mean, it, it impacted me so much as a kid. The first film, and that like, and you must you must be thinking to be able, you know, to see your little kid self appreciate this. It, it's 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 a joy. It's a full circle joy, right? Yeah. Yes, it is absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, a lot of people have been looking up to you for years and years, and now you're the one people are seeing on the screen and they're going, that's what I want to do. I want to tell my story. So oh, what kind of advice do you give them? Know your worth. Know mm -hmm. your worth. Know that. Um, I mean, I don't know if you're asking me for people. Oh, yeah, yeah. For actors. If you're trying to, if you want to do this thing called act, know your worth. Um, the industry needs your voice. Know that. Mm -hmm. You'll be told no a million times. All you need is one yes. Don't give up on yourself. That is correct. And you know, the thing is, uh, working on something like this, I know it's, it's, it's hard at times. And so what did you keep in mind that kind of kept you in the right mindset on the right path, even when, even when the days were tough? I trained myself a long time ago to turn it on and off. Um, mm -hmm. I have enough of my cross to bear. I can't take home other characters that I portray is too much. So when they yell, it's a wrap, I leave it on the set. And I'll tell you mm -hmm. why. 
I was I had to train myself to do that is because I, I was a young mother and whenever yeah. I would leave a set and go home it was time for homework it was time for baby to eat bath and get ready for school that I couldn't bring it home so I had mm -hmm. to train my instrument to know when to turn it on and off I live in between takes you know I literally could be bawling my eyes out in the scene and they yell cut and I'll be like so anyway girl last night you know <laughs> that's I, this is my instrument this is right. my instrument it's not this it's not this my body is my instrument so whenever i get a script my job as an actor is whatever emotion the director is looking for i need to call it right away just like a if you have a, a trumpet you don't think about f flat you know it it's there so that's how i look at my instrument i, I just have to i can give you what you want in one take maybe two because <laughs> that's mm -hmm. what i've trained my instrument to do uh, it's beautiful. Well, thank you so much for being with us and congratulations on everything. It's a blessing to be able to talk to you today. Thank you so much. Have a great, beautiful, blessed holiday. Oh, you too. Thank you so much. Thank you.